Welcome everyone. This is going to be test number one for Tesla's through the earth wireless power transmit or oh, one single wire transmission. So we've got a terminal there that is just a small length of metal, possibly uh, yeah, 150 mils, 15 centimeters. And I've just cleaned up those surfaces there, both those surfaces that go into the ground in an attempt to get a better connection. Push that into the ground with my foot. Okay, and so this has a lead connected to it. Both wires are connected there and terminated on, on the pole, which I cleaned up and then covered with some waterproof tape. Um, so both those wires being connected at the same point acts pretty much as one wire so that is 10 meters we'll follow that My dog and down to the circuit which i've stuck on a wooden chair so there's no tricks this is genuine through the earth will light up that light oh, maybe if uh, it was running it would light up okay so circuits running lights on that's connected to this light bulb connects to the jumper lead and connects to 90 meters which we will also walk just to prove that um, it's generally operating that way circuit went off then because I disconnected it should have had one of my wireless lights out here to tell whether the circuit was running or not Okay. Okay, circuit's running. Um, if I disconnect that there, then that that's going to change the oscillation again, and it may need restarting. So that's what was happening there. Sometimes when you change these oscillations, it turns the system off. So. So here we can see that it's connected, operational. All right, so we will follow that wire, which is 90 meters long. Tried to keep it away from the concrete as much as is possible just for the test. But just want to point out that um, it seems to ignore the resistance it doesn't seem to matter how far through the ground it's got to go um, with this system of Tesla's it's just uh, seems to ignore a lot of the laws that we put in place which I might add you know nearly every single one of them he questioned whether they were accurate uh, and on many occasions went to see the person making the claim and proved to him that they might not have had the full picture. I think uh, those who wanted us bound to the system just um, ensured that that message never got out. You know, it's there. If you look for it, you can research, you can find it. Um, and so here we come to the end amongst the cow patties and uh, we've got the same uh, system in the ground 15 centimeters that probably goes into the ground it's not very much at all I just push that all the way in if you find um, your connections not very good like it doesn't light up very brightly 
then um, just uh, pour some water over there even some just where that ground connection is going in there even some uh, salt water you know a little bit of salt added to the water and that'll make that a better electrode also it will rot um, you know oxidize that steel a lot faster as well or eat that away so you go for the best um, best material you know maybe like a copper coated rod or something um, is probably the best I think that's what's generally used for earth so we'll go back up the hundred meters well I suppose we're only walking 90 meters when you consider there's 10 on the other side of the chair sorry about the great view but it's the only way I can prove that it's genuinely um, running through the earth and some might say to you, oh well it's probably not running through the earth it's more than likely just the fact that you've got um, uh, a means to earth and it's running through the 90 um, meters instead but I'll unplug this and um, We'll unplug the 10 meters and then we'll see that it is actually going through the earth and it does require both signals. And you can probably tell I need to walk that hill a bit more often. Okay, so back to the end of the 90 meter run. Is it still running? No, it's gone out. So once you've connected this up, it, and leave it alone it doesn't usually go out this will run until the battery is dead and normally I have um, one of those little LED lights here just so I can see whether it's on and whether to disconnect that or not okay I find um, an, an absolute connection, you know, like a switch would be better to have on here rather than me plugging that in each time. Because you can see sometimes there is uh, that issue with getting it to oscillate. If I remove this high voltage line into earth, we might get the circuit to oscillate a bit easier. And so then I forgot to connect it to see. I really should stop this here. Go grab one of my wireless lights so I can be sure circuit's actually on before me trying to connect that. And Okay, there we go. We've got a connection. Sorry about that. Normally, I, I don't have troubles connecting that through the resistance there. It uh, seems to be problematic when you've got it set up basic like this it should um you know it should have permanent connections there so that i'm not having to retouch those like that just to get it to light up um but if those were permanently connected it would just be a case of flicking the switch on the positive line and uh all right so we know that's connected now if i try to leave that light running and disconnect this one light will go out so that proves that it is running through earth put that back on there light comes back on yeah so 
can't really have much more proof than that, people. Tesla's uh, stuff did work, and they kept us all enslaved for it. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, if you if you're interested in making that circuit, have a look on um, my channel, and I've got uh, a tutorial there, which is very lengthy, but um, goes into full detail on how everything is wired up. 100 meters through the ground, running 240 volt light as per Tesla's instructions. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a nice day.